Hey everyone, it's Lisa here. Welcome to my channel. We're in Virgo season, so you guys already know we are, what is this, number nine of the Zodiac series. So of course, I'm super excited to show you guys what I created for you Virgos. So I did go ahead and pull out the Melody Susie Jade Plus, if I'm not mistaken, that's what it's called. They did send this to me brand spanking new, and I'm super excited because I love Melody Susie products. Um, so go to the description i do have a link for you guys um if you guys wanted to purchase this it is still on sale it finishes if i want to say the 22nd or 23rd of september so it is a great deal if you do go ahead and get the anniversary gift box there's a lot of goodies inside that you can definitely put to use um so right now i'm going in with the 180 sanding band and i am removing the shine off of these nail plate these <laughs> nail plates and i'm gonna go in i'm gonna use the extra long coffin um c-curve tips i felt like i had a new c-curve in a while so i whipped these out i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna glue them down with my rubber base gel as i normally do just put it on cure it for a few seconds and we are good to go this hand as well is the red iguana practice hand this is the half posable hand i want to say this one is called lucy i think she only has like five colors um this one is like the second or third darkest one i'll link it for you guys the specific ones that i use um so yeah we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna continue doing this now i did ask you guys some opinion when it came to the design or the color choice for virgo and i didn't really get too many i got a lot of like greens um and bluish ones so yeah i hope um i i delivered a good nail design for whoever chose those colors because that's the colors we're gonna do <laughs> From there we're gonna go in with the 180 sanding band once again and I'm going to blend in that tip into the natural nail plate I'm using this at about I think it was 5,000 rpm um, and I did use it in the same speed when I was removing the shine off of the nail plate so both it was 5,000 rpm um, I've never really used it any higher because especially on me like on my natural nail plate you don't want to make your nails thin so staying around 5,000 or below is you know highly recommended so from there I'm gonna go in I'm going to dehydrate the nail plates um, treating this as if it was a real hand even though this is a fake hand we're gonna dehydrate those nail plates just to remove any kind of oils that may still be left behind and then we're gonna go in with that rubber base gel we're going to scrub that into the surface um, and I'm focusing just on the nail plate itself dragging it over the tip a little bit and then we are gonna go ahead and I'm do a full cure for 60 seconds in my led lamp again the lamp i use is the melody susie one as well um so i do have codes for melody susie just check the description box if you're in need of some new tools and stuff like that and you know those codes will work for you guys so I'm taking out my Peach Perfect Builder Gel and I'm going to focus towards the middle nail and this nail is going to have an extended nail bed. Now when I was thinking of the design for the physical, you know, um, Zodiac, the Zodiac gave me for the Virgo design, it was hard. So like I did sketch something out but then I ended up just going ahead and just freestyling it like I was just going with the flow as I was laying things down. So yeah, I don't know. This one kind of gave me a little bit hard. Like I couldn't really think properly when I was doing these nails and I don't know why I was struggling, but the outcome of them, I think, you know, I was pretty pleased with it. But anyway, so back to this nail. I'm going to go ahead extend that nail bed 
um, and I do this in layers. Once I did this first layer, I did go ahead and take a little bit more and I floated that on top. I did cure this in place before I added more though. Um, and I do play with it until I am, you know, pretty close to the shape that I want. I wanted these to have a deep smile line. So that's why you see me here like tweaking it and just moving it around and kind of playing with it where I want it to go. And this is where I take a little bit more just to build up that structure. This is kind of where the apex is going to fall. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough gel where if I needed to fall into it, I wasn't removing the apex. Um, but I do go ahead and I do a full cure of this for a full 60 seconds. Going in with my nail cleanser, I'm going to cleanse the nail, removing that sticky layer that is left after curing, and then I go into filing. I'm gonna file that small line into a crisp wall because we are gonna add a color right up against it, and I wanted this to have a really good um, smile line. I didn't want it to look any kind of like bumpy and stuff like that. You know, you know what I mean. <laughs> so once I created that smile line, I did go over the surface as well. This visually helps me see the smile line to make sure it is the correct roundness <laughs> that I need it to be. Uh, but yeah, so from there, I, like I said, I was winging this design. So I went in with Crystal Clear and then I went into the pinky and I just added a very thin layer. Um, I was gonna do it across, but then I changed my mind and you're gonna see me come out with some colors. Now for the colors, again, I am excited because these are the new colors that I recently launched. I took out La La Land, which is a pastel green, Glistening, which is a shimmer green, Sparkle On, which is a shimmery blue, and then In the Clouds, which is a pastel blue. Both, all four of these colors are both from the collections Pastel Dreams and then Shimmer On collections. Um, and I am so thankful for whoever already brought those collections. Each collection comes with six different shades of colors. So yeah, go to LGM Pro and pick up your hard gel colors. <laughs> So for the ring nail, I ended up taking all four colors and you're gonna see me create a marble effect. I didn't wanna go all the way down. I wanted the tip to be clear. Um, so I did create a background, which I took out that pastel green, and then I started creating my marble effects and everything is wet. So I haven't cured it because I wanted the colors to almost like blend in together. But when it came to the tip itself, I did drag that, uh, the shimmer green down because I just thought it was pretty. I don't know. Like I said, I was winging it. I wasn't even sure if this was going to come out the way I had imagined in my head. It kind of didn't come out the way I had imagined but I think it came out gorgeous um so yeah for the colors it is still summery we're still in summer summer is not over I was gonna go with darker colors but I wanted a, this to be a summer design we're still in summer and I'm not giving up summer yet you know Halloween is coming up so and I'm excited for that so y'all already know I love Halloween and I'm gonna go all out for Halloween I'm already thinking of designs so if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe because I won't disappoint you I promise <laughs> So once I did that, I did go ahead and I cured it into place. I apologize for my camera because she was not being nice to me and she did not want to focus. So for the middle nail, I did take that pastel blue. I pushed it right up against that smile line. And then I took the pastel green and I focused towards the tip. Um, and I wanted this to be a full coverage nail. So you're going to see after I do this, I do cure it in place and then I take both of those shimmers and I lay them on top of each other. I wanted this to be, like I said, a mixture of the blue and green, more on the green side. So I took out the shimmer blue, I laid that on top, I cured it and then I took the green because like I said, I wanted this to be a little bit more green. I laid that on top and then I cured that in place and I was really happy with how this particular nail came out. 
I was jumping back and forth on these nails. Like I said, it's a freestyle. So I, when I do freestyle, I don't know, I just like jump all over the place. So we're moving on to the pinky. For the pinky, this one, I did a full cover nail and I took all three colors, which was the pastel, the shimmer blue, and then the shimmer green. And I laid these on top of each other once again. I did the pastel because it's a full cover, um, it's full coverage. And then I took the shimmers because you know it has a shimmer on it and it just makes the nail a little more pop a little bit more but i also like i said wanted it more green so that's why i took the green shimmer and then i placed that one on top and i was super happy with how this nail came out and i like the fact that first of all these are hard gel colors they're fall off only so you can do this and it'll give your nail strength they're not builder gels so I don't want you guys to get confused that you can just continue to build this up and it'll give your nails, you know, the apex that you need. If these were shorter nails, yeah, but you know, you still need a little bit structure, a little bit of structure. So I do go in and encapsulate because these are long nails. Um, so moving back to that middle nail, I wanted this to have a little bit of marble in the middle. So I did go ahead and I took out the blues and greens again, and I just marbled a little, small little marble right in the middle. For the pointer, I did the same thing that I did for the ring nail, um, but I ended up swapping it. Instead of starting off with the green, I started off with blue, um, but it's going to be the same thing as going to be a marble effect on top. And then towards the bottom, I did take the blue and the green shimmer and drag it both down half on one side half on the other but this is pretty much the same step that I took when I did the ring nail adding a background and then going in and marbling those colors together again I cured that in place once I was fully satisfied with that, I did go ahead and made sure everything was cured for a full 60 seconds. And this is where I go in and I started encapsulating. I didn't really need to do too much, um, but I did want to make sure once again that the apex was there. And when I go to file these into shape, I'm not removing the design that I created. Um, so since this, like I said, since this is hard gel, since the color is hard gel, it already has like the strength that you need. This is more so, like I said, just to protect the design and to give a little bit of that apex and just to fill in where I needed to fill in, especially for this nail right here. We needed to fill in that gap. And I love encapsulating. To me, encapsulating, it just gives the nails that extra oomph it needs. I just feel like it magnifies everything. So yeah, and from there, I do go ahead and I do a full cure for 60 seconds again. For filing, once again, I do go in and I cleanse the nails um, with my nail cleanser. And then I take out my nail file, which is a 100, 100, no, 100, 180 grit. I got this off of Amazon. You can go check my Amazon storefront for these. These are the four pro nail files um i filed the side walls i filed the free edge straight and then i go in with my uh nail drill this is the fine tapered drill bit this is the one again that's from my website at ljmpro.com and i am going around that cuticle and then down the body of the nail trying to give these nails some shape removing any kind of lumps and bumps and i feel like when it comes to filing i feel like this is where even if you feel like the design is not your best, if you foul the hell out of these into shape and just make it look, have like a crisp wall, no bumps, I feel like it'll just make the design look so much better. Um, so yeah, especially this middle nail, I really have to remove um, all of that extra gel and it'll reveal that smile line. It just makes everything look so much better when you really foul your nails into shape. Oh, and I am using this at 22,000 RPM. No sé lo que me está pasando. Siento que alguien me está llamando. Ella es mi motivation. Corre base en mi mente como vapor. Baby, yo te soy fiel como Jacob. Dígame yes. Baby, don't say no, imaginando, eh, oh. Tu boquita en la mía, baby, sería un sueño, you know. Pero si fuera real, mi amor, imaginando, eh, oh. Tu boquita 
mamá mía, baby, sería un sueño que no Pero si fuera real, mi amor And of course, I do go in with my white buffing black and buff the surface smooth. I ended up taking out the hard gel color always required. Again, this is from my website, one of the new hard gels. And I am using it as a paint where I am painting the Virgo name. Now, I was going to use the gold charm that I have. But honestly, I wanted these to be a little bit different. And I didn't want to add gold into these nails. I feel like I add gold in a lot of my nails. So like I said, I decided just to hand paint the Virgo name on. On it and at first I wasn't happy with it I'm not gonna lie I I felt like it looked ugly <laughs> but I kept with it I kept doing it and I made it work in the end to where I was super happy with it towards the end and I was super glad that I did keep you know I stuck through it and I kept on you know perfecting it and just tweaking it but like a, uh yeah so i just did this name really quick i did cure it and then i went back over it with that pastel blue because i felt like it was too white um and i just lined it a little bit again i am sorry that the focus is like blurry it was trying to focus on my hand and not on the physical nail but yeah, um, I just keep tweaking it and then I just cure it, you know, once I was kind of satisfied with it. And then I just move on to the next step because I left it alone and I was frustrated. <laughs> All right, you guys, and you already know what time it is. It is time for some bling. I took out my brand new kit that I just launched, which is the Summer Bling It On kit. I'm gonna use that green right there. And then I'm coming out with a new kit. This is a Aquamarine and Parry Dot, I think it's called. A quick little peek, one, two, three. That's all y'all get for now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna use the aquamarine color in that new kit and the green in the other kit um, So I'm gonna go ahead. I am just adding my bling it on rhinestone gel. This is a no wipe gel um, And I just start laying on these crystals and y'all that aquamarine color. Uh, it is so so pretty but I start going into time and I just start adding my bling. When it came to the pinky, I decided to just do a full cover nail of the bling, a mixture of the green in the summer kit and then the aquamarine color in the new kit that I haven't launched yet, which I probably will launch this week. Um, and I I just think they came out so freaking pretty and I'm glad actually oh one of us the, the subscribers requested I come out with an aqua marine and peridot kit peridot peridots I think it's called bling it kit so shout out to you I'll try to find the comment if I couldn't pin it but yeah once I complete that I do go ahead and I do a full cure for 60 seconds once I did that, I was looking at it and I decided to go ahead and take out my staple color, which is a pure black. This is, once again, a hard gel. Um, and I wasn't satisfied with the Virgo. So I ended up just lining a little bit, like on one side. I wanted these to almost look like if it was like a 3D art. And I'm super happy that I did this because I think it ended up coming out so much better and you could really see the Virgo name. Um, I just think it just made the name look so much better when I added that black around the edges, making it look like I had like a little shadow. Um, but again, once I did that, I did go ahead and I just flash cure that into place. Last and final step, I took out my shiny no wipe top coat and then I start top coating these and I do a full cure for 60 seconds. 
Este party sigue hasta el amanecer Otra noche no es la and this is the final look where's my virgos at let me know how i did i love it so bright so colorful real summer like i am in love let me know what you guys think of this design i think it is so pretty next um sign up is libra let me know your opinions on libra as far as color or even what kind of shape I did go ahead and give you guys a close-up of the marble because I thought it came out so good. I had, I used all of my products in this video and I'm so glad on how they look. The only product that is not mine is the actual practice pen. You can get that at Red Iguana, but like I said, I think this set came out so gorgeous. And go to lgmpro.com, get your bling, get your hard gel color, get your builder gel color, get all the nail supplies you need to make your nails look poppin'. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this Zodiac series. And yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Love ya. No sé lo que me está pasando Siento que alguien me está llamando Ella es mi motivation